how to do an internal thread using Easy Thread. Okay, so uh, this is Easy Thread, so we'll go through the thread wizard. Okay, so we're working in metric uh, again. Uh, so the clearance plane is as before, a uh, position where it's safe to wrap in the machine in X and Y. The work clearance is a distance above the job where it uh, will change from a rapid as it approaches into feed rate. The thread work plane is the top of the job which is normally Z0. The thread depth in Z, this is how deep the thread is going to go into the job and the thread depth here is the tooth thread. The XY centre of the thread, the thread diameter and then the approach angle and entry cut. The entry and exit cuts here are 360 which means it will do one 360 turn before it starts cutting and when it finishes cutting that will ensure that you get a smooth um, transition into and out of the thread. The thread pitch is in this case 3mm and we've clicked the radio button here, internal thread. So we'll move on to the next stage and we'll build the stock model from the dimensions. So we continue. So in this case, because we have an internal and an external uh, uh, feature, we need to set the, the OD and the bore. So the outside uh, diameter doesn't really matter as long as it's bigger than the bore. Um, the length is the length here and the z-work plane is zero. Uh, for the bore this will be the size of the material before the thread is cut and the length also needs to be the same as the diameter. When you make any changes to any of these um, uh, wizards you need to click the build button. So this is the STL file that's being built and when you build that you'll notice that this graphic here does change. So this represents the side view of one side of the um, uh, of the bar, so we continue, and we'll now do the tool. So the tool is essentially the same whether it's internal or external working. So you give it the tool length, which is the complete length of the tool. The flute length is the wasted part of the tool where it is not cutting. Uh, the tool diameter is the uh, diameter for the outside of the tip and the flute diameter is the wasted part of the, um, uh, the tool. The holder and the arbor can be pretty much whatever you want them to be. Um, in this case we're using a radius tip rather than a flat tip or a pointed tip. Okay, so whenever you choose or change any of the parameters here you need to click the button build the tool image. So if we go back to a radius tip build the tool image and that's the um, tip there. So we continue on. It's creating a tap file which is being saved away in the same folder as the work file that you're creating. And when it's created the g-code file it calls up the simulator. So this is the uh, stock and the tool. When we run the program through see the internal thread being created. In the simulator what we can also do is we can uh, take a sectional view of this as the um, uh, as it's cutting. So if we go to the cut sim tab down here and go to the uh, parameters the section plane we can enable and then by moving the slider bar left and right or by choosing the normals we can change the view. But in most cases you just run that round to the middle, click OK and then you can run that round and see the file there. If at any time you want to see the replay of the tool you can always use the um, move list 
in the top right hand corner here and you can run the tool round so you can run it right to the beginning and then check the tool this way if you want to see the model working on that uh, sectional view you can reset the model choose the sectional view that you want and then replay the toolpath you can use the slider here to control the speed of the simulation okay. so when you're happy that that's doing what you want it to do then you can just close that down the uh, part file uh, needs to be saved, so you can save it here and then you can proceed with the next uh, job or you can exit from EasyThread.